There's a hill just across that bridge over the Golden Gate that holds many memories for me. In scouts with my parents and friends, we would hike that hill, whether there be rain, mud, or uh, bristling winds, we would hike it. The golden grass would shift in the breeze and ebb and flow just as the ocean waves that would crash just over the mountain to the west. I experienced the outdoors in thrilling ways, both big and small, uh, and this thrill would keep me in Boy Scouts all the way through high school, uh, and it was what drove me to participate in 50-mile treks through Inyo National Forest and up over Mount Whitney. My deep love and appreciation for nature drove me to become an environmental engineer and so that I could help ensure that those places I hold so dear would be around for future generations. However, being an engineer means I'm not supposed to be an activist. It means I should only be a neutral observer of events. As an environmental engineer, I worried I was destined to go work for a city and ensure that aging infrastructure was maintained and that projects were done as cheaply and quickly as possible. No substantial innovation, no solutions to climate change, no ability to move beyond the current perceptions of a field I once thought were abound with possibilities. And that's why I almost quit. The lowest point was the summer of my sophomore year at UC Irvine. I was an engineering intern at the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission, and I was tasked with formatting contracts. I was coming to work every day with no passion, no feeling like what I was doing mattered to me. And then I met Professor Jesse Jackson. Professor Jackson allowed my environmentalist flag to fly. Not only did he give me and my team the resources and knowledge we needed to complete many of our own projects, but he inspired us to innovate in ways we would never have thought to do. So that's where I've come. A little over a year ago, I couldn't have told you if I wanted to be an environmental engineer, but today I can tell you I cannot imagine my life doing anything else. My team and I represent the new face of engineering. We're a multidisciplinary team of engineers, artists, and scientists who all aspire to improve our environment and want to change the way we consume and the way that we make things. We want to not... <laughs> we want to not only design, test, and do research, but we also continue to educate and inspire as often as we can. To end, I'd like to say to communities such as my hometown of Marin County, we need to help pass the torch. I wouldn't be on this stage without the right spaces to develop my own opinions and do my own research. Yes, it's good that you bought a Tesla and that you compost, but there's more to be done. And y'all can be part of the solution. By supporting spaces like mine and where people like those you've seen on stage today are given the opportunities and wherewithal they need to make sure that we keep winning the fight to save our planet. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Uh, I would like to especially thank my mom, dad, and brother, Michael, my lovely girlfriend, Rachel, and her family, my supervisor, mentor, and true friend, Jesse Jackson, my project co-manager and confidant, Aldrin Lupuson, my spam team back at UC Irvine, and lastly, all of the wonderful people here at the Earth Island Institute. Thank you.